The first meeting between Christina and I was actually on a music video called A Bunch of Girls. A bunch of girls. I had no idea that May 2nd would change my life forever. I just thought I was getting hired for a music video. So I'm kind of doing my thing, and here comes Christina. She's the first to arrive. I remember thinking, oh my god, do I have my hair and makeup fully done? Because this guy is really handsome. I introduced myself, and we started joking back and forth, and something immediately connected and clicked. We had such a great connection right away. I quickly went from thinking, this is a job, to, oh man, there's something brewing here. We exchanged numbers, and from there, there was a magnetism that I couldn't deny. Two weeks later, he asked me out on the road. And I said yes. I had met his parents that trip, and I truly had an overwhelming feeling this will happen over and over again in your life. You will be out on the road. You will be watching him do sound check. Check. One, two. Check, check. It was undeniable. I remember getting back to the airport, and I called my sister, and I said, I just hung out with my future husband. I was working in L.A. for almost 10 years. Then one day, out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, I walked over to a boot shelf, and I picked up a pair of boots that I hadn't touched in 12 years, and I just started reworking these boots. Just out of the blue, I started taking stuff out of my closet and wrapping it around. When I was done, I was really proud of them. And I took a picture, and I sent it to all my family, and I sent it to Frankie, and I was like, these are rad. What do you guys think? And it was crickets. But then when I styled them, people could see the vision. I would walk around places and I could hear the whispers of girls going, I wonder where she got her boots or who makes those boots? So I decided maybe I should make another pair. And I did. I uploaded it on my Instagram before Instagram was selling anything. And they sold within two minutes. Then I really knew I was onto something. I just kept going to flea markets and I would find vintage boots and I would rework them. I wasn't even auditioning anymore. I was making boots on a kitchen table and selling them like crazy. So Frankie and I decided it's time. I'm moving to Nashville. What better place to sell cowboy boots? You have a very sweet story. We do as a long distance relationship. And now for the first time, she's accompanying me on the red carpet at the ACMs and the planets are aligning. After three and a half years of long distance, my family, her family, everybody knew that we were meant for each other. And it seemed like, why, why is this continuing to go on with such distance between us? Three and a half years, it's a long time. And we were ready. We were ready to live together and be in the same city. And I knew Frankie was so classy, he would never have asked me to leave LA. He knew that I needed to make that decision. But I could just feel that that acting door was shutting. There was a lot of no's happening, and my heart was definitely changing. Because what does acting even mean if I can't be with the man that I love? It doesn't mean anything. All the signs were saying there's a new dream coming but I needed something that I could be super passionate about, something that I could be super creative in, and something that would be my own, so that when I moved to Nashville, he could be doing music, but I would have something as well. When I had figured out that my new dream was to do Old Smokies, I knew that opened every door for me to move to Nashville. I could hear my family cheering, his family, because they knew we'd finally get to be together. This new dream really did allow that to happen. Going from LA to Nashville was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Everyone was so welcoming and so generous and very authentic. It has wrapped its arm around Old Smokies like I've never expected. My connection with Chrissy is hard for me to talk about without crying. It would be hard to do what I do for a living without a partner who understood what it means to be a creative person. She's good at everything. She makes me laugh. If you can make somebody laugh, they're gonna love you.